What's up guys and welcome to the channel. I have a pretty interesting video today, one that kind of leads off one of my my very first video I ever put on my channel and as you can tell by the title, I've been doing some upgrades to my 6.5 Grindle from Diamondback. And don't get me wrong, I really liked my Diamondback and I really, really liked how it just came in the package, what it came with, I think uh, I love the muzzle brake, the color, it's a fantastic rifle. Um, but they left some to be desired. So I want to talk about what I've done to the rifle to improve it. And I want to share my first experience shooting the rifle with you guys with these improvements to see how they compare to when the rifle was stock, before anything changed, before all my improvements happened. Let me talk about some of the improvements that I made to the rifle and discuss why I made them and why I felt they were important. All right, so let's start with the stock. So Diamondback had a stock on there, and it was a nice stock, don't get me wrong, but it left a little, be little to be desired. It had a really nice cushion on it, but there was a lot of wiggle room in the stock, all right? So I've upgraded to the Magpul CTR, I believe, uh, with, it was a mil-spec stock, or a mil-spec tube for the stock, and um, I'm really pleased with it. It's very similar to the stock that came on it, but instead of when you get to your position and it's wiggly, it has a place you can lock it, and there is no wiggle at all in the stock, and I think that is great and incredibly important. So when I go to line up shots, it'll make it so much steadier and so much better. I think that will make a world of difference for me, personally as a shooter, that is. I don't know about y'all, but I really like a stock that's not going to be wiggly when I move it. And then to recompress it, I just press down after I lock it. So, see, it's locked. Um, yeah, so that's the first change. And then the second change, and these are big changes, I feel like. I mean, I've added little pieces here and there and whatnot. That's very irrelevant. The second change that I think is going to make a very big difference is my trigger. So I have upgraded to a CMC drop-in trigger, all right? This is a three and a half pound drop-in trigger, single stage, curved, not straight, uh, and I think it'll make a world of difference. All right, this thing is now light as can be, man. So that trigger that was in here with the Diamondback was an eight or seven or eight pound pull. It was heavy as can be. Um, if you want to check out my trigger install video, it'll be linked up here in the corner somewhere. It'll be in a card, so you can see all it took to change the trigger. It was a really easy process, and I think uh, CMC did a good job at it. But um, that streamlining stream the trigger changing process with the drop-in trigger. So I really like the drop-in trigger a lot. Um, there was a lot of, I guess, hate around the drop-in trigger uh, when I was doing research about what trigger to get. And uh, they seem to have fixed some of the stigma behind it. I know it was, well, the trigger's going to be loose in there since it is a drop-in trigger, but they've added screws that help hold it down. So, I think it'll make a world of difference when I go shoot. So, I want to take you guys on the first shooting experience with these two pretty big upgrades, in my opinion. And um, hopefully we'll be working through more stuff. But right now... We're doing the uh, stock and the trigger, and the next thing, I think I want to give me a nicer scope for it. Don't get me wrong, I like the Vortex, but I think we need to upgrade to something. Something different. Something better quality. I'm not saying Vortex isn't good quality, but I'm talking like a first focal plane and some nice mounts. If you know what I'm saying. Maybe we can get some distance. Um, yeah, so let's go out to the, well, I guess range, farm, field. We're going to be at the farm, and we're going to be shooting groups at 100 to see how well this thing does and how well I guess the improvements help me as a shooter alright we're gonna see if they really improve my grouping that well I think if I'm not mistaken on my review when I shot the Hornady I maybe got an inch or maybe an inch and a half what let me do a real quick research um, on what my groupings were because uh, it's in YouTube my first review video was up and this is this is my first review video so we'll see what kind of groups I got um, so with the Hornady I got like a 2 MOA group and that kind of sucks honestly I'd like to uh, 
hit one in at about one or under one, honestly. And this rifle's been shot a lot since that, so maybe the break-in process has been better. So this is, I guess, an updated review with upgrades. All right, so let's go out to the field and see what's up. So we are here at 50 yards with the Grindle, and we are shooting Hornady 123 grain SST bullets. This is what I hunt with. Um, we're going to try to print a group. I'll do the math for you when we get down there with the group on whether or not it beats the two MOA. But uh, let's go check it out and see how this stuff works. All right, so let's go check it out. All right, so at 50 yards, we get a three quarter inch group, maybe a little bit less, I'm not sure, but as you can see, those two were eating each other and that one was off a little bit, but um, it's pretty good. That's that's about a half M, or one and a half MOA. So I guess that, that stacks as you go back. Um, when I first shot this thing, it was about two. So we've improved a little bit but I'm not gonna say it is perfect yet. I'm still gonna try to figure out some ways to better improve my rifle and better improve my shooting because this this could be me. This could not be my rifle. So um, better to look forward to, or more stuff to look forward to yet when it comes to the Grindel and its improvements. But I do like it a lot and I do think it's a very good rifle, especially for the price point. Um, it was around 700 bucks and now I have about, give or take, $300 put into it with scope, um, trigger, stock, all that stuff. So, yeah. Um, thanks, guys, for watching. Stay tuned for more stuff about my Diamondback 6.5 Grindel. Please subscribe, comment, like, all that great stuff, and I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching.